Hi guys, I'm Elizabeth from Conifer Crow at Etsy.com. This is a magpie bundle, and a magpie bundle, for those of you who aren't familiar with that term, is essentially a junk journal, which is a bunch of different random sort of collected vintage handmade, hand-selected, curated papers all put together and bound together into a journal that isn't blank. And it has, a lot of times there are interactive elements, which you'll see here in a minute, but they're all bound together um, to give you kind of a surface to work on that isn't necessarily just blank. You can sort of riff off of this that way and kind of lead your creativity in new directions. This particular one is, the reason I call them bundles is because they're fabric bound. They're, I, I use various uh, decorator fabrics and and quilting cottons and interesting bits and I and I think this is sari silk all put together and then scribble stitched over to keep everything together and keep everything secure and it's very tactile and it's very nice to to touch and kind of hold on to this particular volume is called fly it is all bird themed because, you know, things, birds and things with wings. I guess I should probably say birds and things with wings. So this, when you open it up, this is what you'll see. This is fabric transfer. Let's see. I try to leave enough room that you can journal on things, but I do get a little um, excited about decorating the pages. So there's a lot of decoration on these two, just for the record. Let's go a little bit. There we go. Now all of these little tuck spots and things like that, I've tried to stick other things in. Like this is a tag, a tab that you can customize and do whatever you'd like to with. Anything like the vintage bookstores, or vintage bookstores, vintage book pages. I've done like six of these videos today, sorry. <laughs> I tried to stick down things like tags and little bits of ephemera with um, side clips so that you can take those out and either use them in your own artwork elsewhere or in the book and um, you can always just leave them there as is if you think they're pretty and want to just have them there for inspiration as well vintage ledger paper vintage book pages I used a lot of vintage book pages in this one that's just layered and collaged lots of birds this is a little booklet. I, I used smaller pieces to make little booklets that you can write in and then tuck back into place like hidden journaling. This is a, t a flip tuck. There's a whole envelope over here that you can stick stuff in. Feathers, things flip out. On the actual Etsy listing, when you head over there, there are 10 still pictures so that you can kind of get a close up. You can zoom and look at things closer in case I'm going a little bit too fast. Another big pile of stuff you can use and vintage. I used a lot of vintage music in this. For some reason, music and birds, because I think because of bird song. This is sorry fabric. There are lots of envelopes, lots of flips, lots of interactivity, so it's not just flat pages for you to work on too. You can still stick down collage, or you can still stick down, uh, or you can still write. There's still a lot of space to write, or you can stick down, you know, watercolors, whatever it is that you do. Um, but it's not all just just a blank page, which is nice. It can be kind of fun to work in that way. Another flip. This is vintage, or vintage, this is rice paper that's been painted and I've used alcohol inks underneath as, as, a, as a base, which is why my fingers are all blue and brown right at the moment and green. <laughs> that stuff, alcohol ink is forever. Like, say what you want about love, but alcohol ink, that's what's forever. There we go. Some more little tags. That's from an Edward Gorey card deck. This is a pocket this way. 
So there are hidden things down in there too. Fabric, some of the fabric that was used on the cover. This is a pocket. Vintage stenography books, which I love. Another little clip full of stuff. There are a lot, I had a whole lot of bird stuff to use. Um, so I ended up kind of stuffing this thing just pretty full. I tried not to add too many pages because you get too many pages and then it gets hard for the thing to close. But it was very hard for me not to <laughs> add more. Vintage maps, another pocket with stuff inside. I also tried to put stuff in pretty much all of the pockets. Um, I didn't leave, I don't think I left any blank in this one for you to fill with your own. This is a belly band, so it goes all the way through. It's another one of those Edward Gorey cards, playing cards, little tags, that kind of thing. Hidden journaling spot all your secret thoughts little booklet so you can add more journaling you can make this more visual and then add journaling just to this little spot here and nobody even has to know there's an envelope here oh I did leave that one blank for you oh I might have stuck something in there way down at the bottom there we go more edge stuff edge stuff that's that's a technical term this is and I'm, I've mentioned it in other videos but this is a thicker paper that I coffee dyed um, it smells really good if you stick your face right up in it too but the good thing about this is it works really well with fountain pens <laughs> It doesn't go all, you know, with most, with most paper, you have to worry about fountain pens just soaking straight through because of the, the liquidity or the, the viscosity of the ink. You don't have to worry about that with this paper. This does not go through. So that's positive. Tuck spots. This is cool. This is um, a little booklet and I'd open it up, but there's stuff in there. Oh, inside of a transparency. So you can obviously move this someplace else if you want to and put something else inside here, but you'll be able to see it through it. Just fun. A flip. Birds on both sides. Vintage science book. Lots and lots of bird stuff. <laughs> Which is good in a bird-themed journal, I suppose. There's a big tag. contact sheet from somebody and it feels really neat this is an actual bird feather um it was in my backyard and I froze it first so you don't have to worry about creepy crawlies hidden spot and a bird you know I live really close to Portland so every time I look at this I just I'm just like put a bird on it for those of you that are older and remember that. Here's a postcard. It's been backed with fabric. So you can use it as a tag. More of that great sorry silk. And there we go. And when you get to the end, you just roll it back up. Wrap the tie around it a few times and what I do is tuck it under and pull this through and you are good to go and again this one is called fly it is a bird themed journal obviously how many times can I say bird in one video it will be at conifercrow.etsy.com probably tomorrow ish by about noon ish um, I do have a friend coming in from out of town, so it may be as late as Monday, um, but I'm aiming for August 11th at uh, 2018 at noon, 
and I thank you very much for showing up to listen to me ramble and to see the contents of my stuff. Thanks for watching.